Welcome, this is Michael Davis Podcast. Welcome to episode three. The unboxing. There are certain things I needed for this new podcast I've been doing. And I've been using my own phone. It's just a Samsung phone. And I've been using this, which it kept falling out, slipping out and falling out onto the, onto the phone. So now I'm going to unbox my replacement. Right, get into this box. God, this is all done. We're in. Okay. So now. different to that no good useless springs in can hold hold the phone not like this and I can swivel the actual phone I'll pull my other phone out so you can have a, so you can see what I'm talking about this phone in here like this. And it holds it. And if I want to tip it, much more better. It's got a little, nice little screw hole down the bottom so I can attach it to my tripod. I'm now going to change over. So I've been using this which is just not good enough. It doesn't hold the phone in, this part here. Like this has got a lip on here, so it can't fall forward. Can't fall forward like the other one. If I do it on this, on this one, it just falls forward like that. And then on this, with the lip in it, And I try to pull it out, it doesn't, it doesn't fall forward. So it's nice and secure. And if I want to tip it upright, um, upright, oops, for streaming. I can just do that. So this is a much more buy. If you've got one of those, I would say bin it. I'm just gonna change it, change it over to the um to the one that's on the tripod. show you how it fits. Here is the new setup. As you can see, I'm using a widescreen um, camera on the lens, so you can see the whole room. And I am plugged in, mic'd in, and that is the new adapter for my phone and it can swivel which is great this is what I'm using I hope that's of any help to you so if you wanna get one of these I'll leave a description knowing that your phone now is secure in the cradle you have not got to worry about this. So if you have that problem, get down to the shop and buy yourself and these. I am not funded by these people. I bought this myself. So new work. Very good. The problem I had in episode two when I was recording is the mic. The mic I'm using now is a, is a lapel mic, but it's a wired lapel mic. So I bought myself a Comica, Comica, two mics, a digital 1.4G digital, one retriever, two wireless microphones. Let's have a look, see what's in the box. So, as 
you can see. One mic, two mic and a receiver. You can see that. The receiver, a microphone which you can clip to here. What else is in the box? Let's have a look. What have we got? Two mics. One up here. Two microphones. And you charge them. Okay, just like a USB cable. One manual. Right, so I've got it in the box. Ah, uh, muffles for the microphones. It's like one of those. Um, the Queen's Guard hat. <laughs> it's like that. Where? It's an oblong. And this is an oblong too, so you put it in the right one, it just slides on nice and neatly. So if you're in the wind, you can see that like that's not going to bother you at all. No wind is going to get through that. I'm sure I don't need to actually um well I will demonstrate this. But first let me unpack the rest. This is the other wind muffler for the other microphone, which I'm going to put on now. This must be different from the other one I saw on, on the actual YouTube, because that had some sort of like um, skirting man, he had to kind of fight his way to put it on it, where this just slid straight on it quite easily. It stays on the spikes, secure. Nothing's going to fall off of that. Anyway, what else we got here? Right. Leads. Two stretchy leads. Oh, so I think this one goes to your camera. And this one to the phone. I mean to your receiver. That's that one. Straightforward, straightforward stereo, stereo lead, which this must be plug straight in. This next one, this should be another one. Ah. No, so this plugs into any um, source like your phone or or um, camera, whatever one, whatever one you're using. I think this one is for your, if you've got a, like a um, Canon, a Canon camera, their preamps are quite hot and this one balances it out. And what we've got here, we have a charger charger lead for the various for the for the three of them USB three right. so yeah one charging lead I think it's this one is the so let me get this one I think this one's the one the canon one Right, so we've got three, oops, three stereo, there should be some uh, microphones, wired microphones, let's have a look, what else 
else we've got in the box. Next box, Let's see what's in this box. There's a little pin key there, I don't know what that's for, soon find out. I think that must be to get into the battery. Soon find out. Yes, we've got the, the microphones, the wired mics for the people here who's you are interviewing. So I'm going to test this because I want to see how this works. So at the moment, I'm using I'm using this one, which is plugged in, and the one you can see while I'm here. The new one is here, and I'm going to switch over. So this is the voice checker on the EM216 and then I'm going to change over to the Comica. This one is just straight from my phone without no leads, no microphone, no lapel. This is my phone. I've plugged it in nice and snug. It's not going to come out, not going to fall out if I even pull it. Now I'm now going to um, clip it to my trousers, making me free. So the problem I had in, in episode two is that I was interviewing Tina and the, the microphone I was using, I was using just a microphone in the middle of the both of us. But now, because I've got two, I can now use uh, this one on the, the next person, which I'm not turned on. And the good thing about this system as well, I can see, I can see on here, the level when I'm actually speaking, as you can see, you can see the actual levels going up, up and down. So you can, you can judge if you need to actually turn, turn up the mic, uh, you know, that's a to but yeah, so far, so good. I know I'm not peeking into the into the red, and I hope that this is a good uh, indication to if you're thinking of actually buying this yourself. The Comica Boomex Stroke D. Till next time, thank you for listening, and I hope this is off. But saying that. I'm not going to do those big long distance because I'm not, I do not intend to go far, that far away from the person who I'm talking to. So if you need to, if, it, if you need it for uh, long, long distance, I've seen on YouTube because I've got, you know, inspiration by guys on who done, done a field test in this already, how far, and it is pretty good, but I'm not going to go that far to actually interview somebody from the camera. So to me, it looks like a good buy and not only that I can monitor myself and I can see that my levels are pretty good thank you for listening the Michael Davis podcast episode 4 coming soon